Today I'm going to show you how to transfer data wirelessly from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. Basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on on the old iPhone. Also I do recommend connecting both iPhones to a power source. Uh, you won't need the cables to transfer data because as I said before it'll be wireless. So let's get started. Here's a new iPhone. Of course peel off the sticker and then turn it on. Okay. Swipe up to open. And by the way, this may take kind of longer than expected because there's quite a bit of data on the old iPhone, but I'll try to get through the, the main parts of it as quickly as I can. And I may skip a couple steps too. So I'm gonna select English. And select the country of origin. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPod doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this iPhone manually. So I'm going to do the quick start method and let's see if it can, if it can work. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it just says set up new iPhone, unlock to continue. So it's connecting. And then hold up your new iPhone up to the camera. All right, so let's see how that works. Oh, this uh, this weird dot thing. So it, it scanned that weird moving thing. It says getting things ready. Uh, set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID. So set up for me. Enter passcode of your other phone. So you will need the passcode of your other other phone. So by the way, I'm gonna change this passcode right after I do this video. And you have to keep them close, close by because they're using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And now it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So right now what's gonna be happening is a lot of data is gonna be transferring between the old iPhone and the new iPhone. So I think I'm going to uh, come back later once we reach the next stage. Okay, so it's been a few minutes in since I started this and it's asking me about eSIM. And eSIM allows you to conveniently and securely activate cellular service without needing a physical SIM card. eSIM is stored digitally on your phone which reduces the risk of physical damage, loss, or theft of your SIM. Once your eSIM is set up, your SIM card will be deactivated and can be removed from the SIM tray. So I'm going to transfer from another phone. It's gonna transfer the number, tap that. Confirm transfer on the other phone. So I hit OK. It's asking me to double click to confirm. So now it says connecting to network and then it says cellular setup complete. The new number, or sorry, my old number is now active on this phone. I'm gonna tap continue. Tap that again. Okay, so it's asking me to set up Face ID in the interest of speed. I'm going to set that up later by pressing the text at the very bottom of the screen. Transfer data from my iPhone. And so, yes, I want to do that. Um, so they have to stay connected and connected to power and close by each other. So I'm going to hit continue. Of course, you have to agree to this legal document. Make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone. So I'm just gonna hit continue. I don't wanna customize it. iMessage and FaceTime, yes, I want that. Emergency SOS. Um, so I'm just gonna hit continue there. So now it's gonna now it's gonna download the latest version of the software. So maybe the older version of iOS was on the phone when it was installed at the factory. So I have to download and install. That's gonna take a while. So I'm probably gonna check out for a little bit. So there was a long break as the new phone had to download the updated version of iOS. So that took like about 10 or 15 minutes. Then quite a few prompts um, related to having the phone kind of turning off by itself, then turning back on, having to reactivate it. If your phone is plugged into a Mac or a Windows machine, 
I advise against letting it connect to the Mac. You'll be prompted to do so on the Mac. Just, uh, just use the cable for power because you do need power, especially if uh, the phone is not charged up that well. So right now it's transferring data. It says about 56 minutes. So I'll check back in in about 56 minutes. One other thing to note during the data transfer process, if the phone screen turns off, or both of them turn off, don't worry, the, the, uh, fo the data is still tra transferring over. Um, I've, this has happened a couple times, so basically you don't need to tap the screen to keep it lit or anything like that. Even if the screens go dark, the data transfer will still work as long as the phones are next to each other. So once the transfer is complete, you'll get a message like this on the old iPhone, and then the new iPhone will start to reboot. So it's asking me to set up the Apple Pay, which is actually a really useful feature. I'm going to set it up later in Wallet, just in the interest of saving time. Emergency SOS, so hit continue. And this is basically the same screen that I have on my old iPhone. So the phone is now completely set up. One last thing to note, many of the apps, you can see that they're currently uploading right now via Wi-Fi. So it's not completely set up until all of these different apps are fully downloaded. But basically the phone is usable right now. And then once the apps are all installed, I'll be good to go.